Hello, my name is Natasha Natarajan and I was a graduate trainee with Devon Projects from January to March 2019. I am 27 years old and I'm a history graduate. I'm from the UK. I've worked a lot of different jobs, um, a lot of different roles, but most of my professional life I've spent as a graphic and web designer. In the two years or two and a half years preceding joining Devon Project, so in 2017, well actually in, since 2016, I was working in, and studying in the Scottish art scene and I became really passionate about supporting the arts industries and so when I came to Devon Projects I didn't have big expectations particularly on what skills I wanted to, to develop but more how I could use my existing skills in an arts organisation. Um, and I think the role and the experience exceeded um, everything I could have hoped for and I, I learned a lot about how I could give my skills and I think I also developed professionally and personally. Though I applied for the project intern role, I was offered the graduate trainee position. But in the end, since Claudia, the director, was away for two weeks, I actually got to do both. So I worked for the first month with the project manager, and when Claudia returned, I worked closely with her. And as a result of that, I got to do quite a wide range of tasks, both, um, administrat both administrative and uh, more curatorial tasks uh, with the director. But mostly, I experienced that the roles are very fluid at Devon Projects, and the hierarchy as well is so fluid that you end up doing so many different things for different parts of the organization and um, in that way it's never boring and it's very unpredictable in a, in a good, exciting way. Because of this fluidity, I think it's really easy for, for you as an individual to design your own experience um, and develop the skills that you want to develop. I got to do some really great, um, interesting and unusual things at Devon Projects, but I mostly want to talk about what I observed about the organisation and how it made me feel, because I really think that was special and, um, and different. Um, so the first thing that I felt overwhelmed by was how much trust was put in me and how welcomed I felt. Um, I felt it so much that I even wrote a bullet point list in my diary of these small little things that people did that made me feel really nice as soon as I got there. Um, so for example, I was given the keys to the office uh, straight away, which probably doesn't seem like a big deal, but somehow to me uh, it felt really nice to have ownership of the space that I was going to be working in so quickly. Um, having the keys to the office meant I could go out of hours into it as well. Um, which was particularly useful because we only lived two minutes away, or the interns at that time did anyway. Um, and it meant that in the first week, for example, I asked if I could borrow the projector and that was totally fine. Um, and I watched movies at home through a projector owned by the organisation, which I just thought was a nice touch. I don't know, it's probably quite a simple thing, but um, I thought that was quite a, a nice, fluid thing for an organization to do. And it made me feel very homely from the beginning. Um, the other thing was I needed to take an hour a week off uh, for medical reasons during the day. Um, and at first I was, or before I arrived in Huntley, I was nervous to ask. I don't really know why, but as soon as I got there in the first week, I asked um, the project manager, Robin, if that was okay. And she was completely like, oh, that's totally fine. And she said, you know your workload. Um, you can take time off whenever you want or whenever suits, as long as it fits in with the work that you're doing. Um, and that made me feel quite responsible or um, in control of my in control of my work, I guess. And then there were just some small little things that um, people did in my first week that were really nice. Um, so I, perhaps I've just worked at not so nice places, but 
whenever I did something, people would thank me for it quite genuinely. Um, I'd never really experienced people thanking me for doing my job before. Um, so I thought that was really special and I felt really appreciated. And also the first week I was working for Claudia, the director, as the graduate trainee rather than as the project intern. I think it was even the second day I was just doing something and she turned around in the, in the middle of the day and said um, and asked me, are you happy? And I was quite taken aback because in my day-to-day -day life people, people close to me don't particularly ask me that. So it was quite entertaining and nice to be asked by your very recent boss um, if, if you were happy. <laughs> Yeah, I really like that. Uh, and and then also I think people were really nice about the work that I was doing and very supportive of one another, I observed as well, but also of me. Um, and so that was really encouraging, um, especially when you're starting a new job in a new place and you've moved somewhere different. Um, I, felt, I felt very at home very quickly at, in Huntley and in Devon Projects. I think part of the fluidity of the roles and the trust that's given to you and then how welcome people make you feel, um, this all makes, you, makes it easy to take ownership of things that you're doing and feel responsible um, for projects and tasks. Um, there's really a sense of if you want to do something, just do it. There's not a great amount of bureaucracy attached to to things that you want to do and that's really inspiring and it helps you as an individual push yourself to do things and it makes you ambitious in a way that's self-driven and I think that's a faster way of learning and doing things um, when you're driving yourself and there's a lot of that at Devon Projects I think that you can you can really push yourself to do what you what you want to do and people will support you in doing that. I think the whole experience is really amplified by the fact that you're living in a small community and you're probably living with other Devon Projects people. Um, so I, for example, was living with one colleague for one and a half months and then for my last one and a half months we were four people working at Devon Projects in the same house. Um, so it it was really like, it was a very immersive experience um, to be working and living and socializing with the same people. Um, and to be honest, also the, the kind of events and activities that Devon Projects were holding were the kind of things that I'd want to do anyway. So for three months, Devon Projects was my life. Um, and that was really great. There was some, I mean, because the, the people who are there are usually there because they're interested in, um, socially engaged art and you know the kinds of socially relevant topics that Devon Projects engages with you end up discussing that all day long and I had so many big chats about so many important things. Um, when I was there the project was about Brexit um, and of course Brexit is, was just a never-ending discussion. Uh, both on a small scale and a large scale, it seems. Uh, but it was, it was exciting and uh, invigorating to be in that environment. Just to end, I want to mention a couple of things that I really enjoyed doing at Devon Projects and will hopefully stick with me for a long time. The first thing I want to mention is a kind of impromptu skiing trip we took one Friday morning because the weather had been snowy and that a lot of snow had settled and Claudia the director fitted us all with um, gear that she had in her house and we had a little practice on Thursday and then on Friday morning we all set off um, for a couple of hours on a little cross-country skiing trip which was entirely amazing and so much fun to do. Um, the second thing is that I really enjoyed being in, a, in an office with Claudia, the director, and having the opportunity to discuss some really interesting things with her 
and she was very open to all my questions and my curiosity about what she was doing and what the organization was doing. Um, that was that was a really interesting and unique opportunity for me to be able to do that with a with a curator with so much experience. And because she'd just come back from a three week trip in East Africa, she was writing a report and she let me be part of that process quite quite a big part of that process and I really enjoyed um, doing that uh, helping her write this report and structuring it and uh, she was asking some really interesting questions um, that I found really exciting to engage with um, particularly what what it really meant to be a curator in to be a Western European curator in East Africa the main event of my internship was 29th of March day, which marked the official day the UK was supposed to leave the EU originally, um, but also the end of a project that Devon Projects had been running on Brexit. And as part of it, uh, Claudia had um, designed a, an event which involved Skyping people from across Europe and asking them what they thought about Brexit. and me and another intern, Will, we were tasked with um, organizing technically this event and that was a really great and fun challenge that the two of us had to make sure this Skype event happened smoothly, which it did. And it was really exciting and we were really chuffed that we managed to pull off quite a complicated technical situation um, with the limited resources in terms of tech that we had. But it was fun to be working in a team and problem solving constantly. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun to do even though at times it seemed impossible. Which is I think sometimes what Devon Projects feels like. Um, sometimes impossible but fun to do as a team. Well that's what my um, experience was like in a completely good way. Or perhaps it's because I've always been in environments where you're not devising, you're not doing things that have not been done before. I think at Devon Project sometimes you're just doing a lot of things that maybe have not been done before or not, are kind of unusual things to be doing so you don't, you don't really know how or what's going to happen, you're just kind of going with it with this team of people that are really great. So all in all it was a really unique experience for me working at Devon Project. Um, it's a really different place to be. It's nothing, I don't think you could really predict what will happen um, during your stay there uh, in a great way. And I think what really struck me was it, how, how it's, it's different at every level. You know, even forget at the top level, you know, which is a socially engaged arts organization, which has its own theory about how art should be practiced in general and particularly in a rural setting. But it's different even in the way it functions day to day and the kind of way we discuss things or the way roles are and jobs are distributed, um, you know, in the very open atmosphere that's created um, for people to participate in running the arts organization. And I think that was really refreshing. I'd never experienced working in a place like that. And I've worked in a lot of different places. So it was nice to see that that it could be it could be different. There are different ways of doing things. I would this experience comes highly recommended for me and I thoroughly enjoyed my time in Huntley. Bye.